Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and break them down to bite-sized pieces. So today, we already know what the news, what's going on with the crypto market, not a big deal. I want to talk to you about shills and who uh, really could potentially be the king of all shills. And uh, I want to just uh, take a step back uh, and uh, talk about a video that I did a little bit ago. I think this was on March uh, 24th or 23rd, where I talked about how Ethereum is a dumpster fire right now. And here's why. And it wasn't me, just me saying it. It was actually Charles Hoskinson from Cardano. And of course, people will say, well, he's very biased. True. Of course he is, right? He's going to talk about Ethereum and maybe not such a, in, a, in a positive light. But uh, he did call out some really good aspects of it. One of those being fees. I think we can all agree on that. Fees kind of suck. So when I was doing this and I after I did the actual video, I always get the comments. I love to read the comments. Always entertaining. Yeah. Some are lighthearted. Some are pretty harsh. And so most are just in the middle, uh, you know, pretty positive and whatnot. But this one was interesting. It was from, from Tanya. And she says, uh, but the Ethereum Berlin update on April 14th study and then make a video. Why are you bashing Ethereum? I don't get it. Is it to fill your Cardano bags as you shill ADA? Unsubscribe. Sorry, dude. Well, I can't really help that. A lot of people unsubscribe for me every day. And that's just how it is. You know, you can't, uh, <laughs> you can't please everybody. That's just how, how it goes. So I really had to think about this. I'm like, what does it really mean to be a shill? Because when I got into this space, shill was like the worst word of, of all time. It was like, you are a shill. And then of course people would say, yeah, you're a shill, you're a shill. And at, over time it's taken on different meanings, I think. And it's, it had to, it forced me to take a look at what really is a shill and what would uh, somebody consider it. And first of all, before we move on, um, the only bad part that I talked about as far as uh, with Ethereum in that video, you can watch it, I'll link at the very end, was I talked about the fees were ridiculous. And I mean, I can't see anybody else who doesn't say that. So when people start to say, well, oh, how can you say something negative about Ethereum? It's because they got problems. Uh, I don't owe them anything. They don't owe me anything. So if I see a problem with it and uh, I as a consumer should call that out, right? Nobody gets a pass, not even on the show. I mean, I talk about Voyager all, all day long, uh, you know, but uh, when Steve came on, the CEO, he doesn't get a pass. I asked him, what are you doing? What's going on? How are you not fixing these things? And of course, gave answers and off we go. So nobody gets a free pass. And uh, if I'm going to talk about Ethereum, I talk about Ethereum. So it was just that part. So what I want to talk, just really go deep into is just talk about, you know, first of all, what is a shill? Uh, things to avoid as far as shilling and why being uh, a shill, uh, depending on what you're doing, uh, is actually not a bad thing. Uh, it just depends on uh, what the actual motives are. So let's get into it. So first up, you gotta take a look at the definition, okay? So this is from Wikipedia. And Wikipedia, and even the article says, hey, this has got multiple issues, really need to revise this, but it was the best information, some of the best information I could find as far as this one and Webster. So I'm gonna go with this one first. And this is the most negative part uh, as far as a shill goes. Uh, a shill, also called a plant or a stooge, is a person who publicly helps or give, gives uh, credibility to a person or organization without disclosing they have close relationship with the person or organization. So that's the big key right there. Without disclosing that they have a close relationship with the person. And then moving on, it says shilling is illegal in many circumstances and in many jurisdictions because of the potential for fraud and damage. And I think that is the big thing right there. So first of all, if you're if you're talking about something and you know you don't believe in it, you're just saying, hey, you know, uh, this Tomato coin is fantastic, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to put uh, marinara sauce on the blockchain and Olive Garden is going to sponsor it. It's going to be fantastic. And you have no, like, uh, I mean, you have no belief in it whatsoever. And you're just saying that because Olive Garden paid you, you know, 20,000 Bitcoin or whatever. It doesn't matter. So like in that situation, that's very dishonest and that could lead people down a road that they really shouldn't go down. Now, again, uh, this this entire channel is not for uh, financial advice. I'm not a financial planner, but some people will say, hey, you know, uh, if you're going to you know, talk about something, at least believe in it. And I think at the core of it, I think we can all agree that is probably the best uh, type of thing. So uh, everything that uh, we talk about here, we really do uh, believe in too. But that is just the very first part. The second part is, is that if you're talking about a project that, you know, is just trash and it leads down to people like ruination, like a BitConnect, for example, right? I think some people didn't know BitConnect was a scam. I think some people did. And uh, I think even though they, they still promoted it because they got paid for it, that's the worst, right? You get paid for something that you don't believe in, people get wrecked 
And then that is like the worst part of being a shill. Uh, the, the other part is you think it's okay, you get paid for it, and then you know people get wrecked. That's like the worst. <laughs> That's like the second worst. But still, when people are getting wrecked, that is that that is the big thing. So like uh, as you notice on this channel, we don't really talk about too many new things. Uh, we talk about what's going on in the development. We, we cover the news. I'm not real big into like jumping on to like the next big alt and the next ten thousand uh, dollar coin. It just because that's where people get hurt and I just can't do that. So anyhow, uh, there is, there is that part as far as like what, uh, uh, what Wikipedia is talking about. But this one I think is a better example. A shill is a person that acts as a spokesperson or promoter. Okay. You're shilling this, you're shilling that, uh, or a person who makes a sales pitch or serves as a promoter. Right? So on this channel, you'll notice that I talk about the same things over and over again. I talk about a Bitcoin. I talk about Ethereum. I talk about a Voyager. I talk about a Celsius. I talk about a Polkadot and I cover those things and uh, I make no bones about it. It's just, uh, you know, what we, what we talk about. I think there's a big difference between a shill who is a, who is promoting, like, like you're shilling a product, you're talking about a product and that's it as defined by Webster. Uh, if we want to go down even uh, here, I think this is the, a better uh, reasoning or rationale is a puppet. And this one they, they call about a puppet government. And a puppet, in my, this is how I see people. If you are just taking money and you have no recourse or you have no belief in the project and you're just like, give me $10,000 and I will take that project and I will talk to all my people and I will shill or I will puppet it as much as I possibly can. And then people, you know, they, they win, they win, they don't, they don't. That I think is like being called a puppet because the person that is making you talk has uh, their hand uh, up inside you and they're making you just move your mouth and only because of money. And I think those are the ones that, that is like the worst of all, all worst, right? So I, and, and if, am I gonna distinguish things between a shill and a puppet? A shill to me is somebody who's like just shilling a product and putting these uh, in this information out. So here's an another example of like shilling, right? This is an ar article from, uh, from from Decrypt, and again, it's been used in different various ways. Shill metal, ja shill metal jacket. Who are the Link Marines? And they talk about how the Link Marines are shills. And of course, if if you're a Link Marine, you really do believe in that that chain link is going to go uh, do pretty well. You believe in the technology, and you're just you know in there. The majority. Now, some people might be might be, I don't know, some whales and are, are manipulating these types of things. But this article, um, you know, if you didn't know the, the, the difference, you'd be like, oh, so these, sh these people are getting paid to, to push uh, uh, Chainlink. And it was a big article about Zeus Capital and things like that. But the, the people that, uh, I, that are on Twitter that I see, those are the people that just believe in the product itself and they're shilling their product and they are very passionate about it. So there is that part. And then uh, just so you know, like uh, when we're talking about these different types of things, as far as like, you know, who, how do you know if somebody is shilling a product and getting paid and not? Well, for me uh, and all YouTubers, and they should all be doing this, uh, is that if they don't click this box right here where it says my video contains a paid promotion, like a product placement, sponsorship, or endorsement, and something gets found out that they got paid for it, their whole channel goes away. So again, for me, it only makes sense just if you have a good product and you wanna put it out there, just do the right things and everything kind of falls in place. If the people that screw up and just like, you know what, I'm just gonna cheat the system, and game the system, those are the ones that usually get screwed over. And uh, that's how it all goes with all businesses I've ever been involved in. So that's the big thing. So you may have noticed that on this video, there was a little box that says, this video contains a paid promotion. Because if I have a promotion, I'm gonna tell you about it. So I'm gonna tell you about this great product that I've been using for the last two years, CryptoTrader.tax. And uh, I personally use it. Uh, I used it last year. And from the time that I opened it up to the time that I filled everything out, so my CPA it took me 30 minutes. Now this one took a little bit longer because I was waiting for some different things. Expressly Voyager, trying to get my, uh, my CSV file, which I had to put in there put it on my, my CPA, everything's done, bing, bang, boom. So like, if you wanna save uh, time and money, definitely look at CryptoTrader.tax. There's a link in the description. Also, there's a link to this uh, webpage where you pull out your first name and uh, email. They will draw it for an, um, what is it? An unlimited uh, tax report worth $300. So if you wanna try to get win a free one, that's the way. Or if you wanna just sign up for 20% off, use the link in the description. So that is how that works. So if somebody is paying me, Crypto Trader is paying me to talk about them, which I don't know why, because I mean, this is between me and you, I would talk about them anyhow, but they still pay me. So I'm like, sure, sure you know, I'll, I'll talk about you as much as possible. And uh, that is really a shill. Uh, 
doing a paid promotion, shilling their products, talking about their products. The difference is, is that I'm not here talking about tomato coin. They gave me $10,000. I don't tell you that they, they gave me any money and I just talk to you and you get dumped on. It's not going to happen. I just understand why people do that. And again, to reiterate, I am biased. I am super biased. So I know like some people say, uh, you know, I don't have any, any, any money in that. Shucks. Ah, sure. Well, I'm biased. So everything that I talk about on this channel looks like this. So if you see me talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, Cardano, Theta, XRP, Stellar, Polkadot, Tezos, Vichin, it's because I own it. And that's the truth. And I make no bones about it. Like in my January 7th price prediction, I talked about all of them, right? And then, uh, so just so for full transparency, I have bought a couple new ones. Um, and my portfolio has actually looked a little bit different now because of the price action that is going on. So Bitcoin's still up there. I mean, Bitcoin's still going to be the number one, I think, for quite some time. And then Cardano flipped Ethereum. Uh, Cardano, when I was buying it, it was like 18, 28 cents. And all of a sudden, it went to like $1.40. So of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be above Ethereum. And Ethereum and Theta, same product I've been talking about. But that went from like, I was buying it at like less than 50 cents. And then all of a sudden, it went to like 13 bucks. So hey, uh, there it goes. Then polka dots and chain link and uh, uh, bat. For some reason, basic attention token, just blew up. There was some kind of partnership that was just announced and uh, could be very big. And the next one, and then all the ones underneath here, because if you notice, like we're looking at 13, well, this is like 44% Cardano, Ethereum are like 12 and 11%. Theta is about 10, 9, 7, something like that. Everything from like StormX down is like 1.5% or less. So StormX, VeChain, Uniswap, Stellar, Celsius Ave engine, and then some others like XRP and all the different ones. So uh, that is my my portfolio. So uh, just so you know, if I talk about them, it's because I own them, and that is the truth. Uh, Vchain actually did pretty great. Uh, I bought it. Uh, Alex was Alex Masioli from Alex Masioli's channel was talking about this for like a month, and I was like, sure, yeah, I'll look into it. Never did. Then we did a uh, trade the chain or Trinity trading uh, uh, video. And it came out like super high on the on the sentiment, so I bought a little bit. And I did some more research, and I bought a good amount uh, afterwards, and uh, it went up. Now it's it's gone down. I think I really I need to really do this. I think Stormex is probably below, <laughs> right around Ave and Engine right now. But uh, yeah, whatever. So that's pretty much my portfolio, and that's what's going on. And then I will just say this, and that is that uh, I'm not always right. I, I don't always you know get it correct, um, but but on this channel, I don't like to, you know, like tell you like, hey, this is this project going to go up forever and uh, you got to get into this now and and uh, you just got to trust me and it's going to be just this fantastic thing. And Ethereum to 30,000. Uh, I, I just don't. So like when when I talk about the negative things, I know people don't want to hear it, but that is what it is. And then sometimes when I go against my own thinking, like I did here, like yesterday, uh, today is uh, what is it? 25th. Of March yesterday, it just came out that Tesla is going to accept uh, payments for uh, a Bitcoin to buy their 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 Tesla products, and I was like, hey, this is this should be good news for Bitcoin and everything else. And of course, what happened? <laughs> we saw Bitcoin going from 56 to 50k. But uh, yeah, and then a, a tweet b before that, I talked about how Bitcoin is going to 50k, and people attacked because they're like, how dare you talk negative about Bitcoin? But I have to because if I don't give you something balanced. Uh, what's the whole point of me? You just come to my show or the channel and be like, oh, I know what Rob's going to talk about. He's going to tell me that uh, Bitcoin's going to the moon. Uh, Ethereum's going to go up forever. Uh, all his picks are going to be awesome. And he's going to show me some you know, crazy stuff or puppet me some other stuff. And uh, that's, not, that's not the whole point. The whole point is to make you just informed and a better investor. Again, not financial advice. So again, the big thing is that, uh, you know, there's a lot... If, if you want to find positive news on YouTube, there's a plethora of moon boys and moon girls out there. Uh, all you got to do is look for their uh, uh, thumbnail, look something like that, and uh, you'll find them. I just, I just don't do that. And uh, just so you know, everything that I'm talking about, like I'm shilling every day I'm talking about Bitcoin, uh, I'm shilling Bitcoin. I'm promoting. I'm promoting Ethereum, Cardano, uh, VeChain, well, or Voyager, Celsius, Theta. All the other things I talk about, I'm shilling and I'm talking about it. I'm promoting it because I own it. And I'm not a, a, a trader. I, I trade like three to 5% of my portfolio, but mostly I'm just an investor. I'm just a buy and hold guy. And like my friend Mullet says, and actually my friend CJ says, he goes, hey man, you gotta take some profit at some point. I'm like, I'll get there. 
I have an exit strategy. I just don't do it as much as you guys do it. But uh, I'm mostly just a buy and hold. And then on top of that, I, not only do I you know, chill about this, I have other products. Dan teaches crypto.com, the one that's swinging up here. It's a 100% free website. It teaches everything, well, most things you want to know about cryptocurrency digital assets. And uh, that's why I have it. On top of that, you know, I talk about uh, the stake pool, cryptotrader.tax, trade the chain. I trust capital, great place for your IRA. Uh, I've been using that uh, also. I've actually maxed out. So uh, I'm uh, maxed out my Roth IRA. And then like the stone book in Kiva, which is, I even shill Kiva. Kiva is a place to do micro loans uh, for uh, the underprivileged and unbanked. And actually for our uh, D News Cardano stake pool, every epic, which that's what Charles Hoskinson calls it. Please don't tell me in the, in the comments that it's pronounced at epoch, I don't care. Uh, Every epic, every five days, we give 100 ADA and we make a, a loan to Kiva for the underprivileged. So uh, all these things that I'm talking about, these are all the things that I shill. And uh, that is it. So really, really, it just comes down to this. If you're going to talk about who is the, the, the king of, of the shill on YouTube, it's me. I shill as much or as hard as the rest of them. It's just that I think that uh, some of these products are things that uh, that you are probably interested in or would actually use, like a Bitcoin, like an Ethereum, like an iTrust, like a CryptoTrader.tax, like maybe getting into uh, helping out with, with uh, microloans. So look, uh, that is it. There's a big difference between, I would say like, like a shill and a promoter and somebody who's just a puppet who is out there, who is just like, I have no care in the world. I'm just going to give you uh, whatever these people pay me. I think there's very few of those people out there, quite honestly, but uh, they are all out there. So again, take it with a grain of salt. Um, <laughs> this is not financial advice. Do your own research. Take a look at what I'm saying, you know, just a little bit. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm pretty goofy uh, about the things I talk about. Uh, take a look at some other smarter people and uh, in the link, or in, in the description of all my videos. I have all the different people I, I listen to. You can start there and branch out. And there's a lot of good uh, advice or a lot of good information out there so you can make the best choice for you and your family. All right, so that's it. So first of all, if you made it all the way to the end, thanks for sticking with me. If you found a value to that or at least a little entertainment, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel, the channel tremendously. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are news, so it's very time sensitive. And uh, that is all for today. I'm also going to pop up two videos on your left and right so you can enjoy those. And that is all. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.